Hi, I'm Dr. Raj. Over on Childline's Instagram, we asked you what questions you'd like to ask a doctor about coronavirus. And today I'm going to be answering some of them. Question one, how can I see my doctor during the pandemic? To help keep everyone safe, doctors and hospitals have changed the way that they see people. However, you should still be able to get medical help if you need it. So if you need to speak to your GP, you may be offered a telephone or video call appointment first, but they will give you a face-to-face -face appointment if it's necessary. If you ever need urgent or emergency care, then NHS 111 is there for advice, A&Es are all open 24-7, and 999 is there for emergencies. Question two, if you've had COVID, can you get it again? So from everything we know so far, the chances of getting COVID twice are very small. However, it's not impossible, particularly if you get a different strain of the virus. So just like the flu, if you've had it once, you may not get it again for a while afterwards, but you can still get it in the future, which is why following all the rules is so important. Question three, what is the COVID vaccine and what does it do scientifically? Now, there are lots of different types of COVID vaccine out there and they all work slightly differently. However, all of them train your immune system to recognise coronavirus and fight it off without giving you the disease. They do this by training your immune system to recognise a specific part of the virus. So if you were to encounter it in real life, you should be better at fighting it off. The vaccines don't contain the coronavirus and so they can't give you or those around you COVID. Question four. Will young people be vaccinated in the future? Well, it's important to remember that young people and children are at the lowest risk of coronavirus out of everyone. And at the moment, we're vaccinating the people who are at the highest risk of getting and ending up seriously unwell with it. These tend to be older people and those with serious underlying health problems. And we're not routinely vaccinating young people yet, but that may change, especially for those who have long-term health problems. So in the meantime, follow the rules and stay safe. Question five, what happens during a COVID test? This depends on exactly what type of COVID test that you're having. So if you're having a test to see if you have COVID, then usually a swab, which looks a bit like a long cotton bud, is rubbed inside your nose and the back of your throat and then tested to see if you have the virus. Depending on the type of test, the result could take anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes or a couple of days. Question six, why is COVID spreading more than other viruses and why are there so many variants? Now, coronaviruses, of which COVID is a type, have been around for a very long time and usually just cause minor colds. However, COVID-19 is a type of coronavirus that has developed the ability to infect people more easily and potentially make them quite sick. And now every time any virus infects someone, it has the potential to change slightly. And this is what we call a new strain or variant. We've seen hundreds of different variants of COVID-19 already. And usually those changes mean nothing at all and the virus doesn't behave any differently. But now and again, you may get a change which gives the virus an advantage. For example, it may be more catchy and therefore spread more easily. And that's when you see a new strain become more common as it then spreads. However, the new variants that we have seen might be more infectious, but they don't seem to make you any more sick than the older variants do. If you're struggling to cope, visit Childline's advice pages to find out more and get support.